Starlink. Are you ready? I broke the Starlink, I think. I don't know if I fell on the floor right now, if oh, you knew what to do. Just dig a hole. <laughs> No. We can think about all the money we've um, spent, we but, spent, but <laughs> I don't want to. You can make more money. <laughs> Three o'clock somewhere. <laughs> we thought we knew how much things were going to cost, and they cost way more yeah, than what we, we thought. We were, we were way wrong. So I don't sleep in as much as I'd like <laughs> to sleep in. We haven't left a child well, behind. Yeah, I'm sure we have a few tips that we can share. Um, I don't know if they'll be good ones, but <laughs> we'll share them with you anyway. We've we'll seen help. some snakes. Yep. To start, I was all about caravan parks, and I, I bloody loved them, and I just them. Welcome back to another episode guys. Hey guys. We've got a little bit of a different one for you. Uh, we put it out on our socials if you had any questions for us. We're coming up to the 12 month mark in about a month's time. Yeah we're nearly so, there. So I think we've learned quite a lot. Um, I'm sure we have a few tips that we can share. So um, I don't know if that'll be good ones but <laughs> we'll share them with you anyway. We're gonna have, have a little bit of a beer sesh so pause it, go get a beer, go get a cup of tea. Uh, it's Three o'clock somewhere. It's only three o'clock here. <laughs> Nearly. It's three o'clock on the east coast. So that'll do. All right, so let's just jump into these Get questions. The questions. So let's well, go. we're going to do the questions, and then we're going to talk a little bit about what our plans are yeah. from now, because um, they've slightly changed. From kind what we, of. Yeah. Yeah, we've yeah. Well, the twelve month thing's going out the window because. We're nearly at 12, month, 12 months now. So. Yeah, and we're not done. We're not done yet. So <laughs> we'll let you know what's happening at the end of the video anyway with all that stuff. <laughs> but let's jump into these questions. All right. So do you plan ahead on where you're going? Uh, no, no, not at the start we didn't. No. No. Oh, well, not until Western WA. Australia. Oh, yeah. oh it's, a, it's a busy state. Yeah. It's a... I mean, we, did, we weren't even going to do it here either, but we were told check places they're busy and... They we did busy. and they were busy so so we've had to plan our trip we, we don't like planning at all no. because if we like somewhere we want to stay for longer and if we don't we want to get yeah, out of there leave, so but. but in saying that it's actually quite nice that we've planned so we've planned for the next three months yeah we're three months ahead now which like, is pretty crazy yeah, for us yeah we've got a couple of th free camps in there so that might not go to plan because you don't you never know till you turn up how busy it is but yeah. um yeah, so but we other don't than plan. that, we have yeah, we don't really plan. No, we haven't planned the whole time. So for eight months of our travels, travels. nine months maybe, yeah, we didn't plan, and um, that worked very well for us. Yeah, it was <laughs> the best way to do it, I reckon. Yeah, same. And we haven't had any troubles with school highs until Western Australia. So oh, God. there you go. All right, um, how is your budget going? Do you know what? I think we said this in our uh, one of our first yeah. videos. We did an update video, I think, talking about budget. We did, yes. Another question video. Um, we we thought we knew how much things were going to cost, and they cost way more yeah, than what we, we thought. We, we were way wrong. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, you're going off other people's opinions, aren't you? And I just yeah. don't think uh, um, enough was said back then. But it was always yeah. the thousand dollars a week thing. Yeah. That was whatever. You, that's what you see every day. We said that last time as well. Um, thousand dollars a week is what you base it off, and we, yeah, well, we, we couldn't do, we didn't do that anyway, because we still do have some bills, like mm. we're not debt free or anything. Um, um, the car, be the Ute being the biggest one, yeah. so we still have bills, and everyone knows fuel, food, food, especially when you're now. not in a a town with the Woolies or whatever. So, you know, you go to Woolies and it might cost two hundred, two fifty to three hundred, say. You go to an IGA or a little town yeah. with a little shop, and it costs three fifty to four hundred. So big price jump. Big price jump, but um, yeah, it's um. But yeah, so we never we never really set a budget in place because we thought twelve months, let's live it up, do all the stuff we can do. Yeah. Um, live our life. Let's just we're all about experiences and memories, and I don't think you can put a price on it. Yeah. Really, if you think of it that way, you know, we can think about all the money we've um spent. We but, spent, but. <laughs> I don't want to. You can make more money. That's the thing. <laughs> so much. Yeah. It's easy to make more money. So yeah. That's what we'll do in yeah, the future. You can't make memories. That's well, you, exactly without, right. yeah. yeah. Anyway, that goes on to the next question. So, what's your average weekly spend with five on the road? Again. Oh, that's another hard one. Yeah. <laughs> so, for example, say if you're at a cheap or a free camp for a week, it can cost you zero to a hundred, say ish, to and camp, then yes. to camp, Not and then if you're there. Yourself. You're not paying for fuel. 
Oh, well, so I reckon if you were at a free camp for a week and you weren't moving, uh, 400, 500 with food and stuff like that, maybe. Yeah, yeah. probably a bit less. Because you're not using it. Depends anything. how big of a family you got. Yeah. Like ours is a bit high. We got nappies. They're an expense wipes because we got a baby with us. A baby that now eats. <laughs> yeah, he now eats, and that's more expense. But oh, but uh, yeah. So, but then again, if you spend a week in a caravan park, family of us, it can be from sixty to ninety dollars a week a, a, night, a night, which is nuts. Uh, and then you know, fuel if you're going to places or if you're going from town to town, that then can cost up to yeah. Oh, uh, a thousand, eleven, twelve hundred. It, it's just, just yeah, it's it's so yeah. hard to put a number on it. There's so yeah. many factors with the whole budget side of things and how yeah. much you can spend. But all right, guys, I thought I would just jump on here and put it into figures for you so you can visually see it. So if you want to pause this screen now, go ahead and pause. Otherwise, I'll just talk you through it quickly. So this is an example of what um, our family of five would pay. So remember, every family of five is different. You may eat more, less than us. You may do more experiences than us and whatever. So this is just our roundabout figures. So free or cheap camping for the week with only food costs can cost us from 300 to 500. 300 is the free camping and we're pretty much only paying for food or 500 for cheap camping. So cheap camping, we can do anywhere from 15 to 20, $25 a night. And then on top of that is fuel costs, which we all know is a massive variable. Uh, it all depends on how far you travel to get there, how much you're going to explore the town during the week, uh, and also depends on how, what car you've got as well. So massive variable there, but we spend approximately 100 to 200 if we're at a free or cheap camp for the week because we'll pretty much only stay in that area. So during a week of free or cheap camping, we can spend anywhere from 400 to 700 and it can also go above that as well. Caravan parks for the week, uh, this is where the money is guys. So usually we get charged around 60 to $90 a night. We obviously don't get charged for Freddy, which is amazing. So uh, a family of five with older kids would be a lot more than this. But uh, $60 or $90 a night plus food costs us around $7.20 to $9.30 a week. Depending on where your caravan park is, depending how busy the area is, all depends on the price. And fuel costs again on top of that. Uh, so we can spend anywhere again from $100 to $200 and above. So a week of caravan parks, I've worked out we pretty much would spend eight twenty to over a thousand dollars and that is just on accommodation, food and fuel. So just remember everyone's bills on top of that are so different as well. We've got phone bills, we've got internet plans, we like to eat out and explore the area, we've got gas bottles, insurances, we've got a lot of things going on as well. So yeah, it's, it's a big figure. Um, you can do it for, for cheap. Um, just depends on what area you're in. So I hope that helps guys and we'll continue with the video. I, I mean, at the start, I was all about caravan parks. I, I, I bloody loved them and I love being around people and I felt safe and I don't know what it was. I just, I just loved it. And now I despise them. Yeah. I don't know why. I think it's the, the money, t the money side of it. Yeah, it's so expensive. Plus you just don't get your oh, space. Off, like, grid, off grid's the way to go. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Anyway. All right, next question. How does the baby go in the evenings with the noise? Um, if you've also heard us before say, um, he wasn't doing too well. Uh, we kind of let it get to us a little bit and we were always worried about our neighbors. That was and when he was, when that's he was when smaller. we first left, yeah. When we were always worried about our neighbors. We didn't want him crying. So, you know, we just weren't parenting the correct way. We were parenting to please others. Yeah. Ah, oh, and he just didn't sleep. He ever. It was just. It was horrible. But. Oh, it's completely different now. Yeah, now he's amazing. Yeah. We use a noise sort of machine, like a, a lullaby machine. I don't know what. It is, baby machine. Um, next to his um, bed. Um, the kids do their teeth and toilet and everything like that before he goes to bed normally. Yeah. So they are literally just going in there to go to sleep. They're not messing around and whatever. So. He's, Once he's asleep now, he's usually he's pretty, pretty good. good. He's pretty good. We can still go to the toilet and yeah. do all that stuff. We just we put a blanket up over the door, the bathroom door. So no light gets so in when at we turn, all. Yeah, when we turn the light on in there, it doesn't get through. And 
he seems to be fine with that. He doesn't yeah. wake up no. um, at all, really. So yeah, it's it's definitely changed. We've definitely. I think he's adapted to. Obviously, he's going to hear a few noises and whatever. But the kids have definitely learned they have to be quiet. Yeah, be quiet. <laughs> Mainly, we don't want him to wake up. But no. He's pretty good. He is pretty good. He's now. pretty good now. So we've yeah. kind of learnt that along the way. But light. If you, the much light you can block out in there, the better. Yeah, oh, absolutely. Because yeah. as soon as in the morning, the as soon as the sun's up, he's yeah. usually up. So, which yeah. doesn't bother me, but she likes to sleep. <laughs> It's very hard to sleep in a caravan. Sleep in with in a the caravan. bed is where everyone is. All right, so I don't sleep in as much as I'd like <laughs> to sleep in. All right, uh, we've got another one. What have you left behind at camp before? Would it surprise you if we said yeah, nothing. nothing? Seriously, we have never I... left something behind. <laughs> I don't know how, uh, but um, we normally, if we are driving out, we'll try and do a, a UE or whatever and check or yeah, we'll do a I'll checks. drive forward and Leah will stay behind. And yeah. We usually check for any rubbish that's been left behind. Yeah. So usually when we do that, if there's something there, we'll pick it up. Or a child. Yeah, but yeah, <laughs> to this day, we're... We haven't left a child behind. Yeah, we definitely haven't left a child, but we've left nothing behind. No. So I think that's pretty good, actually. That's pretty good in 11 months, whatever it is in there, so <laughs> good strike rate. All right. Um... <laughs> Have you had any medical issues that you have needed to follow up and how is that managed on the road? Uh, we've had no medical issues. No. We've had Parker's come off his bike, had a little cut on his chin. Which, Tell you what, we had a nurse on hand. Yeah, there was a nurse at the, it was at a caravan park <laughs> and there was a nurse there so we she came so over. We were so lucky. If you're watching, hello. Yeah, and put and, some little, <laughs> little butterfly clips on there and... It was brilliant. Yeah, he's cut his leg a bit but I just patched that up and he's fine. But other than that, yeah, other than that, we haven't had any crazy medical issues. No, um, I've had, um, obviously we get our skin checks and stuff. I recently just had one. I have to get one more than these guys. I don't know why, maybe because I'm English. English. <laughs> um, and I have to get a follow up one in three months time. So I have to plan where I'm going to be. So that's probably the only thing really. You've got to kind of make sure you give yourself enough time to get to a town with a doctor because... Yeah. I've I've just found I found it really hard to get appointments like even two three days ahead. Whereas Queensland, Gold Coast, I used to be able to get one for tomorrow. Yeah, I don't know what I don't. Know. It's just different. Little towns, country yeah, towns. Yeah, that's it. Um, and also another thing as well, um, scripts from pharmacies and stuff like that. Um, if you are someone that doesn't have uh, your medication on hand, I personally one of my medications I have, they don't normally have it there. I went to so many chemists, didn't I? Yeah. <laughs> um, but um, yeah, normally I just phone ahead. I, they give me their email address and I send in my script and then I go and pick it up yeah. when I know I'm going to be handy. there two, three days <clears throat> ahead. So um, don't think you have to stay in town for two, three days. Pay whatever you pay yeah, at Caravan Park. Ring them and email, email and then you can your script will be there when you get there, it's pretty, which is yeah, awesome. It's great. Um, we also, we always, we have a full first aid kit and a snake bite kit just in case. So... Can get us out of trouble until we can get medical We've help. seen some snakes. Yeah, we have seen a few snakes now. Oh. Is, yeah, <laughs> they're out. It's kind of scary, isn't it? We've had, you know, we do the whole talks with the kids. Um, what do you do if you see a snake? You know, all that. They they know, but um, yeah. Always have your kits on handy. Yeah, they're all they're there, so you, you got to prepare. <laughs> all right, Starlink. You ready? Yeah, all right. A few Starlink questions. <laughs> Right, so can I get it in places that I can only get sat or Zolio? Can you get rid of your Zolio? So Zolio is like a personal, from what I understand, it's a personal like locating beacon. Okay. Um, we have a GME one still in the car. Um, and, and they ask if they can get rid of that and the satellite phone. And uh, my answer to that would be, so our Starlink, when we are, when you're at the caravan, we have it plugged into the inverter in the caravan, so it stays with our van. So while you're with your van, technically, yes, you don't need those things because you have, you know, anywhere in Australia. Oops, sorry, fly. Anywhere <laughs> in Australia, you, you've got internet reception, and a big one that people don't cover is you can use your Wi-Fi calling on your phone. So you've got internet reception and you've got full phone coverage anywhere in Australia. Even if you don't have Telstra or yes, whatever, you, you literally press the button. There's a Wi-Fi calling button on everyone's phone and that hooks through your Wi-Fi. And you get texts yeah. and calls. So, so if anything happened right now and we've got no signal with Telstra, we can literally just use our phone yeah, we're fine with that. and call. Yes. Um, if you've got an inverter in your, in your car or whatever you're driving and you're happy to take your Starlink around with you on your day trips, you, you can use that. But 
We don't. We use um, a personal loco, which is a GME. I can't think of the name of it. Yeah. We'd have to. Yeah, anyway. I'll insert a picture. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's a GME. It's like an EPIRB for when you're out in the water. So we still carry one of them just in case anything happens when we're you out know, and about anything. for driving. Anything when we have a car crash, yeah. anything like that, we can just, and the emergency services come. So, <clears throat> yeah. Yes, you could get rid of. Yes, you sat phones and you locate if you take your Starlink with you and you're away from the van. Um, no, but then it, you don't actually always like. So another thing I'll cover is can you get it in every location? Yes, but there you've got to watch your tree coverage. Yeah, trees are the so, worst things for Starlink. Yeah. So out and about, you can have trees dotted everywhere. That's fine. You can always find a little spot to put your Starlink because it comes with yeah. about 20 meters worth of cable, yeah. which is annoying, but it will come in handy once in a while, I'm sure. <laughs> but yeah, you can't just park up in a forest yeah. and expect to get signal. So yes, you can get it everywhere. You just have to find a good spot yeah. that, that it can see the sky. It just needs to it see, to the, see sky. the sky. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> so I think we've, I think we've had two spots where it, no one spot where it hasn't worked it was actually in a caravan park that was at Denmark was it or Bremer Bay it was at Bremer Bay um, but our Starlink was broken which <laughs> yeah we kind of I broke the Starlink I think um, we've got a new one now though which is which is awesome one other spot was there was just too many trees it was a free camp so we just moved I think it was like 20 literally meters literally on the other side of it and yeah, it could get and it was past fine. the trees so, so trees do yeah. hinder it um, but Oh, it's, it's unbelievable. Like. We've literally, what, 99% of the camping spots, we can literally go somewhere else and yeah, find a yeah, spot. Exactly. So I don't, I don't think it's... Coverage-wise, anywhere in Australia. Absolutely. As long as they have massive trees. <laughs> um, right, the costs of it and why it's different. Um, so it's... They did have some specials going on. Um, I think it's still 450 Really? 450 and I think two months free. I'm not sure if that's the because we got the RV one, yes, which is 175 a yeah. month. I think it covers that, um, but at the moment I think it's 450, two months free, and it's, it's still 175 a month. But so I mean, do you it know is what? it is it is more expensive, but but yeah. we had Telstra and we were paying what 80, 90 dollars a Sorry, month. It's <laughs> just the one. Yeah, one for um, one. We were paying 80 to 90 dollars a month. Um, Halfway through the month, we'd run out of data, so we'd yeah. have no nothing for the kids to watch and whatever. Um, and half the time, you've got no signal. Yeah, you've got no reception anyway. So. so yes, it's more expensive, but I'd rather pay more for something I can use a hundred percent of the time yeah. than Telstra, and it runs out half the time, and you can't use it. It's just especially because yeah. we're you know we're all on social media, and we need to do YouTube and stuff. So, and our online business is it's all on the internet. So we need it. We need the internet and so. Starlink. And is, we're Wi-Fi nomads. Yeah, Starlink. <laughs> Starlink's the bomb. And we can watch Netflix. We literally just yeah. binged the we whole watch. season. Well, the whole last season of You, um, the night before la last. Yeah. Something like last night. Yeah. We'll say last night anyway. Um, so yeah, I mean, just Netflix on the road. <laughs> Can you beat it? I don't know. We're literally in the middle of nowhere. On there's no yeah, one around. No reception, and, and we're watching we're Netflix. We're watching telly. So, <laughs> um, how will it improve over time? Uh, I guess once that they're going to bring out a 12 volt um, box apparently for them, so that that'll be an improvement because yeah. it does draw a bit of power. Um, I'll have to do an actual video on video it and see what yeah. it actually actually draws it's not much but if you want to know if you want us to do a Starlink video put a comment below because we've we've had issues there's good and bad there is um, yeah like I said this yeah there's quite a lot to talk about we're onto our second Starlink so there's a, bit, there's a story behind that as well so <laughs> yeah. we might put that in a separate video a whole Starlink video just but, let us know if you want to, us to do it and we can yeah happily... I guess the improvements will be yeah, the 12 volt, the whole 12 volt side of things. Yeah. Once they do that, um, everything else, well, that's pretty sweet. Wireless would be pretty good. Between the, Ooh. yeah, that'd be a good idea, but yeah. Yeah, we'll see how they go. All right. <laughs> Come on, Elon. <laughs> Elon yeah. Musk. All right, what about, right, how you pick where you will stay? You know what, we watch other travelers. Um, we- Wiki we, camps. YouTube videos. Um, Wiki Camps is a hard one because not a lot of people do reviews, and if they do, sometimes they're not overly. Well, a lot correct. of the times we go there, like here, there was 
not a review for like two years yeah, and we were like oh do we even go do we go check it out <laughs> and, and we then... went to the main part that is a review on and ended up driving down the track a bit and we found this wicked beach spot yeah. so yeah it's it's yeah, hard it's hard because but yeah. yeah i would mainly just sign up to loads of people's instagram accounts oh, youtube so channels stuff out there. and just watch some stuff and I've, I've read that some people don't like doing that because you want to just experience it for yourself and see it firsthand for yourself. And I get that. The but I think is, you miss out on some really good places by doing oh, that. Well, the thing is, that everyone online, on YouTube and all that, they go to the, the best places. Mm. So if you're not going to go there, where are you going to go? Yeah. Like the, I know there's quirky little towns and that, but most of the time the big places big everyone spots. goes to are always awesome. So yeah. that's, you know, that's where we get our research from. And, why not listen to other travellers because yeah. they got the best we'll tell knowledge. You, we'll tell you if it's naff or not. Yeah, 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 yeah. We'll tell you if it's crap. <laughs> we won't show you the really bad places. <laughs> no. <laughs> All right. Um, do you orientate yourself to where the closest hospital is at each place in case of an emergency? Mm, no. No, we don't. Um, I think, again, you would miss out on some amazing spots if you only <clears throat> stick near the big cities yeah. or... You know, but um, I mean, if something happens, oh, touch wood. Yeah, most. Um, it's a rare occasion. Yeah, isn't most it, really? towns, most little towns, have medical centres. Yeah. And you got the flying doctors as well. So there's a like I said, we got our emergency beacon, I guess, and we set that off, and off comes all the emergency people. So <laughs> um, if anything ever happened, we would just use that. But we don't really base ourselves around. No. where there's a hospital no. no and yeah like you said a lot of little towns have medical yeah, centers yeah. have something going on there's a, but, doc um, there's a doctor somewhere i tell you what what i have actually done i don't know if you know i've done this i've actually watched a couple of like cpr videos and stuff just to rejig my memory i've done a first aid course in the, in way back yeah, I've done but just to rejig my memory in case something happens to me the kids you like having a bit yeah, of knowledge yourself know. might, know. yeah if something ever did happen you could try and help each other out yeah, I i'd like to know if i fell on the floor right now if oh, you knew no, what to yeah. do just dig a hole <laughs> <laughs> nah, just joking <laughs> just joking <laughs> rude okay um <clears throat> best of free spots for kids like libraries playgrounds etc libraries we stay clear of because we have yeah. a one-year-old freddy's, freddy's a bit noisy for the libraries <laughs> he's not being quiet for anybody no. uh we skate have parks. skate parks yeah. i tell you what we just Lately, went to been... yeah we, you haven't seen it yet but we just went to bunbury um, and that just had everything. It's just use Even Wiki Camps. Bay as well. Yeah, use oh, Wiki Bumbry Camps again. Wiki there. Sorry, <laughs> <laughs> interrupting. Yeah, so use Wiki Camps. Um, a lot of the places on there they have like uh, free water um, parks in the town. Again, skate parks. A lot of the playgrounds we've been to going to are so good. Yeah, like yeah. so good. But yeah. yeah. We stay away from libraries, but that's just our thing. Yeah, so playgrounds, <laughs> skate parks, and the beach, beach is always free, so oh, when yeah. we, we're going to be doing a lot of beaches like, uh, in the next you know, few oh, episodes. Yeah, <laughs> so yeah, yeah, quite a few. Next bloody four months or so, so that's all, all right. free. Yeah. Okay, so what percentage caravan park to free or cheap camp do you do? Well, now we do a lot more cheap free okay. camping. Yeah. I think because we're actually quite mindful of it too. I think at yeah. the start, like I said, oh, I love the caravan park go there kids can have a you know a time on the slides and yeah. whatever but um just after you know spending so much money on caravan parks um yeah we just we've just really grown to love a free camp and if there's a is if there's a town with a free camp and a caravan park and we don't need to do a crazy amount of washing or anything we're going to that yeah. free camp yeah. even if well, it's, it's only it's only water we need for washing yeah which lately we've got some we we're able to carry extra water now um, if we need it so we can yeah. do washing if we want to but the washing machine does use a lot of water so it's better to, we just go to a caravan park plug in do like i think we did like four or five yeah. loads uh, no we time. did nine nine loads there we you go nine we were overdue yeah, for like i don't we, know two weeks we've so. been off grid for a while gosh but yeah we do try and so like we go off grid for two weeks go to a caravan park for two three nights and then again that's that's what we're trying to do yeah, yeah and we're very more we're very much more conscious of it now because yeah. it's Gosh, your money just flies out the window if you go if you only do caravan parks. Oh, yeah, I don't know how people do it. Just only caravan. Must oh. must be rich. <laughs> yeah. But, but um, yeah. So percentage wise, now I'd say eighty twenty maybe. Yeah, eighty twenty now. At the start, it was oh. 
probably 50 50. No, probably more. No, probably reckon... leaning more towards caravan parks yeah, at the start. Yeah, yeah. Um, which wasn't, which isn't good. No, don't it's do not. it. Don't do it. Stay away. You can travel for Spe way longer if you do yeah. free or cheap camps. It's better to spend your money on setting your van up with a good battery system, good solar, yeah. than stay in caravan parks just for power, I reckon. Yeah. Oh, 100%. Yeah. Especially because you miss out. I'll show you at the end. I don't want to move the camera because I can't position it right. But I'll show you where we are at the end. Oh, yeah, this, it's this is awesome. It's just absolutely, oh, it's on point. Yeah, it's a bit windy though, but it's Western Australia. Yeah. All right. Um, one last one. How much longer do you think you'll be on the road? Ooh. Ooh. Your turn. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe another week or so. <laughs> no. Um, so I've got we we've got we've got my auntie's wedding, which is in August. Yeah. So we're gonna be traveling till August. And then well the plan was to Go back to work and um, buy that, a house and yeah, everything. Yeah, that, that was like, going to be yeah, it. Yep. We're like, that's longer than 12 months. But now. We've been talking and we are. Yeah. We're not done. We're not finished. No. We thought 12 months would be enough. And look, we've seen well, a lot. We're going we further than 12 months. Yeah, but. we've seen a lot in. A lot, yeah, in yeah, about a year or whatever. We, but we um, I, we're not done. We're not done. And I. And I don't want to settle back down and buy a house and... Um, I don't want to re regret stopping. No. Because, no. you know, we probably won't get this other opportunity ever again. Or Well, until we retire anyway. Yeah. We plan to do some retire, but... <laughs> so, yeah, the plan is we're probably going to stop. Um, Fill up the bank yeah, balance a little bit. Thinking maybe the sixth month, six month mark. Yeah. Um, and then probably go for another year I'd say yeah. we're gonna aim for that that's our plan at the moment yeah um, and at but, least when we go off again we're gonna know all these things we've learnt this time we're gonna aim oh, for just, free and cheap we're camps gonna do, all yeah, the time you know that'll be our base I think we're gonna yeah. base that whole year off doing as much free cheap hip camps that you even can. though they're not the cheapest anymore yeah, a lot of them some of them are some yeah, of them are but, like what $20 a night some of them are yeah. nearly $100 a night but um, so yeah, so we're gonna stop for a bit and then we're gonna go again. Yep. So that that's our plans for yeah the future, I guess. Yes. Um, and another little thing as well. What is it? We what is it? What is <laughs> We've it? only been talking Do about, I even it know about it for it? like three days. We might be getting another van. Oh, caravan tour. Yeah. So yeah, we'll, we'll see. If if it aligns. If it yeah. all aligns within the time we take off to just work, um, if we can sell ours and buy another one, perfect. Yeah, we'll, so um, we'll, we'll, yeah. we'll look into it anyway. We want to, um, we'll be keeping the ute. So, we want something a bit more um, off grid. Yeah, you know. want it, yeah, better battery system, all that kind of stuff, because we're going to base our year off being off grid more. Yeah. So, yeah, we'll, yeah. But that's still a secret. <laughs> it's not. I know, I'm mistaken. <laughs> but we'll see how we go. We'll see how we but go. Shush, that's still yeah, a secret. Yeah, don't don't tell anyone. Because yeah. But if you if you're secretly selling your caravan, yeah. let us know. <laughs> lightweight. Yeah, we need lightweight. That's yes. the thing as well. I mean, you know, you've got to base it on weights and Yeah, we we struggle with our weights. Yeah. Um that's why we've got such a light van now. And it's perfect though. This 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 van for the first 12 months was absolutely perfect for what we wanted to do, where we wanted to go, but we want to go a little bit more off. We'll be doing, we will be, I will be doing a 12 month review on our van, um, but I don't know if you've watched our van walkthrough, but it is a semi off-road roller rocker suspension van, um, you know, four inch drawbar, so it's not 100% yeah. off-road, so even though we take it off right but yeah. <laughs> yeah so stay tuned for that we'll anyway yeah see how we go it's all up in the air though we don't we don't know if, yet, it, uh, if the time anyone wants right. to give us a van feel free <laughs> yeah, just... <laughs> we'll happily take it <laughs> all right um so yeah that's us shall i really quickly show you this is yeah, what we've been looking at are. the whole time ready oh i don't know if i've been squinting on camera but <laughs> It is, a, it is a nice day today. Yeah. You can't get that at a caravan park. Just oh, gonna, you can on some. You just oh, got to pay a lot. You've got to pay a lot of money for that. Anyway, um, if you have any extra questions, 
feel free to message us on our socials or down below. Um, we love doing these little question things. But, um, yeah, it's been good. Updating you all. Yeah. But um, yeah, so make sure you like and subscribe, guys. And we'll see you next time. See you, guys. Bye. Thanks for watching. Cheers.